Hi, I'm Shane Selish from Devamata CMI Public School. Leo Tolstoy was a famous Russian author and one of the world's greatest novelists. One of his remarkable creations are War and Peace and Anna Karenina. Now let me invite my friends to read a short story named Elias written by Leo Tolstoy. Elias in Ufa. Elias' father died after one year of Elias' marriage. He did not leave him much property. Elias then had only seven males, two cows, and about a score of sheep. He was a good manager and soon began to acquire more. He and his wife worked from morning till night, rising earlier than others and going late to bed. His possessions increased year by year. Elias gradually acquired great wealth. At the end of 35 years, he had 200 horses, 150 heads of cattle, and 1,200 sheep. He hired men and women to work for him. He tended his flocks, herds, milked his mares and cows, and made kumis, butter, and cheese. Elias had an abundance of everything and everyone in the district and viewed him. Influential people heard of him and wanted to be acquainted with him. People from distant places visited him. He welcomed everyone and gave them food. Elias had three children, two sons and a daughter. He married them all off. When he was poor, his sons had worked with him. They looked after the flocks and herds themselves. But when Elias grew rich, they got spoiled. The eldest was killed in a brawl, and the younger one stopped obeying his father. So they lived separately. Elias gave his son a house and some of the cattle. This diminished his wealth. Soon, many of his sheep died due to a disease. This was followed by a bad harvest. And then, the Kyrgyz stole his best herd of horses. His wealth decreased and he had to sell off his carpets, furs, saddles, tents and the remaining cattle. His son, who had parted, went to a far off country and his daughter was dead. Shamshamadi had grown old. There was no one to look after them. Their neighbor Muhammad Shah lived comfortably and was a good man. He had pity on Elias and remembered the hospitality of Elias and said, Come and live with me, Elias, you and your old woman. In summer you can work in my melon garden as much as your strength allows. And in winter feed my cattle. When you need anything, tell me and you shall have it. Elias thanked his neighbor. He and his wife began to work as laborers and did all the work sincerely. They found it hard in the beginning but got used to the work. They were not lazy at all. One day, Muhammad Shah's relatives came to visit him from far. After preparing and offering them food, Elias finished the work. Muhammad Shah told one of his guests about Elias and he said that he was aware of Elias and his faith. Then Umar Shah told his guest that 
The old man and his wife worked for him. The guest was shocked and said, Fortune turns like a wheel. One man it lifts, another it sets down. Does not the old man grieve over all that he has lost? So the guest called Elias and his wife and spoke to them. Elias said, If I were to tell you what is happiness and what is misfortune, you would not believe me. You had better ask my wife. His wife said, My old man and I lived for 50 years looking for happiness and not finding it. When we were rich, we had no time to talk to one another. We spent much time looking after the visitors, getting work done from our laborers and worrying about our cattle. Besides, my old man and I used to disagree, yell and have a row. Now, my husband and I live peacefully with nothing to quarrel about. We have nothing to worry about, but just think how best to serve our master. We work as much as we can, and we get food and clothes. We have fur to wear and fuel to burn when it is cold, and we have all the time to talk and the time to pray. At last, we have found happiness. The guests initially laughed but soon realized that what Elias was saying was indeed the truth of life.